All right, so here's our uh, new project. We're going to take this dirty old Volkswagen motor, rip it apart and make a single cylinder open crank stationary engine out of it using the bits and pieces. So um, there's a problem with this motor and that uh, I'm going to get a very small turn on the crank and it locks up so um, maybe a throwing rod or just uh, looking at that a whole heap of water down the bores and uh, rusted cylinders. But uh, we'll go through this one piece by piece and um, it's mostly complete minus the carburetor. Still got the uh, old 14 volt generator on it. These actually make um, good dyno starters whereas they can be a starter motor as well as a generator for a smaller engine they don't have a lot of power when used them as a motor or use them as a motor but um, if you adjust the brush timing a little bit you can get them to uh, work fairly well as a motor so what we might do now is um, disconnect the belt first up a battery across the terminals and see what happens. Uh, if we um, take our trusty multimeter here and uh, check to see we have around the right resistance across all the windings. Five point three. So um, that's not too bad. A quick and dirty test. So that's what we're going to do first up. We'll disconnect the belt and um, we'll hook a battery across those two terminals. See what happens. We'll be back directly. Okay, so we've taken the belt off and the first thing we notice is um, that the uh, bearing is shagged and the uh, rotor is actually sitting on the uh, armature so um, that's uh, project A shelved and uh, not going to do much with that until such time as we uh, put some new bearings in it and hopefully it hasn't uh, worn out the state of windings and the uh, rotor itself but um, not that we needed it anyway we're going to go ahead now and strip this motor down have a look at the insides and uh, see if we can get at least one usable piston and cylinder so uh, time for the strip down okay so we're down this far um, got our big pile of unwanted crap and I think it's safe to say we found the reason the motor is locked up that is the inlet port you're looking at, one of them. And the one on the other side is not so bad, but still not healthy. Hopefully, the cylinder that has the two valves still shut is okay. And I have a feeling we're not going to find something we like when we take the heads off, which we're about to do now. So, uh, so far, probably, um, what did it take, 23 minutes to strip it down this far. Screwdriver, 10mm, 13mm, 14mm and a 17mm socket was all that was needed. And surprisingly, not one bolt was seized. Not even the little screws that hold all the shrouds together. All come undone quite easily. So, um, off to a reasonably good start. But uh, now we're going to rip the heads off and uh, we'll have a look inside the cylinders. Oh dear. So uh, we have found the problem. That cylinder there will be okay. Uh, there's the uh, head. So we have one cylinder that is usable, which is all we really needed. This one here still has mud, wet mud in it. 
that cylinder there will also be usable. But uh, that's not looking so good. But I bet you they still come apart. So um, you might be quite surprised as to how well that will clean up. We'll rip the valves out. I even reckon, or maybe not, this one here could be very dead. Looks like it's actually rotted the valve right away. We'll grab a digger. Yeah, this one here is not happy. <laughs> I don't think I've seen a cylinder quite that bad before, or a head, should I say, due to corrosion. Actually, the valves are still in there, somewhere. We're actually going to redo this one and um, show you how, no matter how bad it looks, all is not lost. That valve is actually open, stuck open, of course. But, um, give that a clean up and see how well it comes up, along with the piston here. So, um, Sitting out in the weather for so many years, I would think. But uh, we do have one cylinder at least that is salvageable. I'm going to rip the cylinders off now and um, have a good look at them. Okay, problem B has also been discovered. This motor is not doing so well. Um, we have one annihilated piston as well. And, uh, bits and pieces of ring everywhere so um, so far not so good for this motor we've got one good piston over there but it has a broken ring um, of course one of these rings is not going to be salvageable because they're all in pieces the barrels are very hard to get off I would say it's probably an original this one but uh, The barrel doesn't look to be damaged, we'll have to mark it up and have a look, but uh, we do have one good barrel and one good piston so far. we just got to get these other two barrels off there, the ones that were stuck. However, I have managed to get them to move the piston that is inside the barrel. So we'll keep on uh, tonking away and see what other damage we find on the way through. Okay, we found another victim. Um, the piston opposite to that one that shattered is also cactus. There's a piece of it broken up on the bottom. I would say one's let go and the pieces come across and smash the other one. Or it was a case of far too many RPMs. But we have two good pistons, although they need a clean, and one, two good sets of rings which we have to get out. So um, that's going to be it for this video. We need to uh, rip the gudgeon pins out now. Of course with Volkswagen they're not pressed in the gudgeon pins. They have retainer clips, much like your two-stroke motorbikes. Um, so we just take those clips out, drift the pins out, pistons come off, flywheel off, front pulley off, split the case, and uh, that's it for this motor, she's in pieces. Then we start the build. So, um, in very, very poor condition this engine. And uh, looks like it's been to hell and back. But um, we'll see if we can make something out of it. Until next video, thanks for watching.